Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey, whenever you're watching, we just thank you for watching. I'm Gordon with the YouTube channel. This is how I did it. I've had a, quite a few people ask me what I paid for our solar system. We have a whole list, a whole playlist of our solar system. Me putting the solar system in, how it works, how I did it, and all that kind of stuff. Hey, give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Hit the subscribe button. Go over there and look at our playlist for solar. Um, we have solar for beginners, and we have solar system for home DIY hybrid solar system playlists. Anyway, people ask me what I paid for this system. So I thought I'd run it down and uh, give you a rundown of what, what actually we paid for the system. Um, we have 32 panels. Um, actually, we have 30 panels up on the roof. We bought 32 panels, but... It only holds 30, so we have two extra. Um, we have a 80, um, we have an 18,000 watt hybrid inverter. Um, that's big. It's no frills. It just works. Um, we have four 100 amp charge controllers. And uh, anyway, I'll get, get you into this. The way we afforded to do this was um, we took out a home equity loan. Um, it's really the, the best way that I can find to do this because home equity loan, you get to write that interest off. Plus, no matter what you do, you get the federal credit for putting a solar system in um, on your taxes. So um, what we did was we took, bought a new car. We wrapped the car payment. And what we normally would pay for our PGE bill, our commercial power bill, which is an average $450 a month. In the winter, it's quite a bit higher. In summer, it's you know, about $350, 300 around there. So my thought was I could take the car payment and the PGE payment that I normally make, combine those, and pay this loan off in probably five or six years around there somewhere. And that's, so far, that's on schedule to be about right. Um, like I said, a home equity loan, it was, it was probably the smartest move I've done this year, other than putting the solar system in. Um, well, Mark, so we're getting ready to put a um, water wheel. We built the water wheel. It's, it's installed. Um, now we're looking for a generator because we're going to tie it into the solar system and see if we can't get a little more evening 24-7 power out of that thing. Um, there again, playlist on the on the channel. Um, so, without further ado, let's take a look and see what we paid for stuff. Um, right here, you see the first thing on the list is our battery rack. It is a pretty pretty solid um, battery rack. It has four casters on it that lock. It doesn't move. It's it's pretty sturdy. It's got five batteries in it. I mean, big batteries, hundred pounders. So there's five hundred pounds in the thing. Um, oh, we bought all our stuff from Sun Gold Power. So far, I'm happy. It just everything just works. It took a while to get it. it took a little while to get it because I think the 550 watt panels they were just on back order. They they sell them so many of them. Um, so basically, they're waiting for those to get here from wherever they come from. So it took three weeks, a month to get everything. Um, but they they keep pretty good contact with you to let you know what's going on. Um, so I was a little worried to start, but then it's like, eh, they're a big company. Sun Gold Power, pretty happy with them so far. Okay, so on our back of our list, we got the battery racks. Um, I bought one of them, $205. Um, solar panel wiring. This is, um, I bought four of them. This came from Sun Gold also. This is um, $220. Um, and cables from the, for the batteries, these little five-foot jumpers, I think is what they were. Um, seventy dollars. I bought two of those. Seventy dollars. Um, the hundred amp charge controllers. Now, the hundred amp charge controllers. The way they have a sixty amp and a hundred amp charge controller. The sixty amp. Let me let me just say I bought the hundreds because we have so much power up on the roof. Those solar panels. Ooh, excuse me. Those solar panels will produce seventeen thousand four hundred watts of power per hour on the peak heat. You know peak time of day um the 100 amp charge controller can handle 5200 watts input from those from those solar panels the 60 amp will not do as much so for me to break it down i had to buy the, the better charge controller so i would have to buy so many of them and you know so many um of the binder boxes up on the roof and all that kind of stuff so it was just 
cheaper to go this route. So there's four of those. Those are 500 bucks a piece, but they work great. There's videos. I can show you videos on them. They work great. Um, basically, the reason why you cannot overload those is because during the peak of the day, like my batteries, when I get up and go to work in the morning, my batteries are about 20, 25, 30% left in the battery so it gets you through in the morning gets things rolling gets a hot water heater running again and all that kind of stuff oh we have everything on the solar system except our oven uh, the dishwasher and the clothes dryer obviously my wife bakes a lot obviously um if she if she bakes at night that'll burn up the batteries or not burn them up but drain them um, she washes dishes when we go to bed, so that would drain the batteries. And then if she washes clothes at night and dries them at night in the winter, or not even at night, just after the sun goes down, that would drain the battery. So I left those three pieces, those big pieces, on the um, commercial power, PG power. Um, but on, on the solar system, everything else on there, cadet wall heaters, hot tub, um, the uh, regular washing machine. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on it. The whole house is on it. The shop, everything. Um, so that is the charge controller. So when those batteries are full, let me get back to what I was saying. So at 7 o'clock I leave, those batteries are maybe 25, 30% around there somewhere. I can check them. Like on a weekend, I can check them. I know that, you know, when I'm about saying probably 30% at 7 o'clock in the morning, 25%, whatever, they're completely full by 10, 30, 11 right now, mid, early early July. They're, by 11 o'clock, they're full. So those charge controllers are now limiting what the power they will push to the to the batteries to charge the batteries. The batteries are full, so the charge controllers say, nope, nope, don't give them more power. Just use, just give them what the house is using. So if you overload them with the PV wattage coming in from the solar panels, they will get hot. And that's not good. Not good. Okay, so that's the reason I bought the good, the bigger charge controllers. And don't skip out on wire, and don't skip out on charge controllers. If you do anything, do not skimp out on the size of wire, and do not skimp out on charge controllers. Okay, then I bought the inverter... And four batteries as a package. Um, and for the four batteries, I have actually I have five batteries. And here's here's the other one right here that I bought by itself. So I got four batteries in the inverter for eighty four hundred dollars. And then I bought one more battery for um, twelve hundred dollars, twelve thirty one. Um, those batteries are forty eight volt lithium. Um, great batteries. I mean, they're working great. Um, and then the 32 panels, I bought a pallet of panels, which broke it down to $215 a piece um, for $6,900 total. Um, like I said, we only have 30 up on the roof, so I have two extras. And then down below is just a list of tools and and just other little things I had to buy, like 400 amp DC breaker. So I have a breaker on both sides of the battery, one that feeds into the to the inverter, and then one that comes from the charge controller bus bus bar down in to feed, um, to charge the batteries, um, and breakers for the house. So we have a hybrid system. So we have, a, in the commercial power, we have a breaker that comes out. That line feeds into the into the um, inverter, the hybrid inverter. And the reason it has that is so it can charge. The, the um, inverter has a built-in charge charging system for the batteries. Um, that you can turn that up and down. You can turn it all the way to 100 amps or all the way down to like 20, I think. I turned it all the way down to 20 because I want my batteries to do all the work. I want the solar system to do all the work. So basically in the morning, in the winter, let's say, when we use the heaters, the wall connect heaters, those those batteries might go dead by 8.30 in the morning, 7 in the morning, I don't know. I haven't had that long. So but when those are dead... Commercial power kicks in and starts charging those batteries, and then the commercial power will stay on until they are 100% full. So I turned down that, so it's basically just enough to feed the power to, to ch charge those batteries, get them running, until the so sun comes up and the solar kicks in. So I might have to turn that up a little bit in the winter. We'll, we'll see. Um, 
and then just the the sub panel, all the all the breakers for the sub panel, um, the PV connectors, the tools, all the stuff. So basically, all of it together came to a just above over twenty three thousand dollars. Like I said, I did it all by myself. Um, worked out great. And like I said, then the um, the home equity loan with with it, we paid the car off. We also put a new roof on the house, a complete tear off and put a new roof on the house and the um um solar system so like i said to be able to to do this and have it paid off in six years pretty pretty damn impressive really to think about what you can do with this um if you look at it in that route because you get to write that interest off in your taxes plus you get the federal tax credit so so anyway guys that's what i spent on it I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm really excited to get the water wheel done and get it tied into it and see exactly what it what I can get out of that. But anyway, guys, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Um, get in there and look at the playlist. There's a bunch, bunch of videos, probably over 100 videos on solar stuff. And uh, well, probably 80 videos on solar stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey, guys, Gordon here with This Is How I Did It. A lot of people ask me what my solar system cost me. Um, we have 30 panels up on the roof. So I'm going to give you guys a rundown of what this cost me. Um, like I say the 30 panels, the hardware mounting up on the roof, and um, all the stuff in the in the, in the the garage in there. So uh, let's get on. But yeah, there's 30 panels. They're sun gold panels. 550 watts each. Um, four combiner boxes up there. Um, I think I paid $215 a piece for these panels. I bought a pallet. I think the pallet was $6,900 for 32 of these panels. And the combiner boxes are probably another 450 bucks for those four combiner boxes up there. And we'll jump into the garage. Okay, the next thing we got is our inverter. It's an 18,000 watt inverter. Um, it does everything. It's just a creating power. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It just creates power. 18 kW. Um, so that was actually in a package deal with um, the, the panels and four of these Sun Gold batteries. I bought an extra battery and the rack system was a one initial purchase from Sun Gold um, and then four of the 100 amp charging um, charge controllers um, I went with the larger ones or these are $500 a piece I went with the larger ones because of the the wattage the amount of wattage we have up on the roof of uh, those panels um, each one of these can handle 5200 watts input and 250 volts the smaller version does not handle that much um, so the cables um, the sub panel, all the breakers in the sub panel, all the surge protection, um, <clears throat> the Emporia monitoring system up there, um, the rack, the tools, five batteries, the bus bars, the breakers, everything in our system just came under $23,000. I installed it. Um, it, it just works. Um, our power bill, we had a power bill that was just enormous. Um, average about 450 a month. Um, so what we did is we took a home equity loan out um, on our car. So we paid off the car, um, put a new roof on the house, and bought the solar equipment. Um, and then so now we get to write off the interest on all of it. Plus we get to write off you know, our taxes, the solar stuff for the federals and uh, for the amount of money I paid for the commercial power and the car payment um, I added basically maybe one year on to the loan of the car and for the, the difference there I'll basically be paying this off in about five years maybe six five and a half six years and this uh, this the roof and the car will be paid off for what I was paying for the car and the power bill um, so anyway, went from 450 a month last month um, with 70 dollars 
Like I said, that's because we still have the oven and the dryer and the dishwasher on our um, commercial power. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, it's about $23,000 total for all of our equipment. 30 panels, 550 watts each, and then all of this equipment. And then I installed it.